SPHR Pro Policy Management Overview. In this video, we'll be examining the HR component of the SP Business Suite, and in particular, the policy management feature of this HR template. HR policy management is getting more and more challenging every year. There's more and more regulations to follow at the state, at the federal, and even at the local level. And there's also increasing legal requirements to protect the business from the risk of uh, employee suits or other employee legal action. So what that means is there's more and more policies you have to manage the development of, track what changes there are, what versions there are, and how you compile these policies. The next thing is once you get the policy in place, where do you store them so that employees can access them easily to make sure they have the latest policy? And then finally, with many of the regulations and legal requirements, it is now required that employees acknowledge and accept electronically or through a signature the policy itself. All of this really piles a lot of manual processes and work on the HR department. SPHR actually provides a policy management module, which includes policy development, libraries for project tracking of policy development, document management, check-in, check-out, versioning, and approval and publishing once the policy is completed. Then the next step is distribution and acknowledgement. You can set up a policy distribution acknowledgement rules, who the policy goes to, and tracking who's signed off. You can publish the policy to an employee portal policy library where all employees can access it either in the HR portal or at the intranet level in SP Business. We have a workflow that automatically takes a look at those rules when a policy is published and creates a task and sends email notifications to everybody in the employee group that must acknowledge that policy. The employee receives an email, which is actually a task assignment, clicks on the link to review the policy, and clicks to accept the policy. The employee can also see the task, if not in email, also it's accessible in the employee portal, and it'll list that task as needing to be done in that portal for that particular employee. For non-SharePoint user employees, such as perhaps factory workers or uh, blue collar laborers that uh, don't have access to the computer, you can have a manager be assigned the task to get the employee acceptance. Also, there's the ability to actually do full policy management. So you can do reports on who's acknowledged, who hasn't, who's still outstanding as far as policy acknowledgement. And also there's automated reminder notifications that go to employees and their managers for those that have not acknowledged a policy that was distributed. Let's see how this works in the SPHR template module. In this demo, I'm an HR professional in the HR site of SPHR Pro. As we can see, there are a number of things I can do in here, and there's a number of different features and functions that are provided and automated in the HR Pro product. For this video, we'll be focusing on the policy management area. And in this area, I can go in and I can see what policies are being developed in their status, published policies, I can manage acknowledgement, I can set up policy management configuration or rules, as well as policy groups. Let's go in first and take a look at uh, how we develop policies and track things within this. The first thing we'll see is under team resources, there's tasks. This is task tracking across the entire HR department, and this is how we can actually track a policy project or task. So I've been assigned uh, the duty of developing a new time off policy here. And if I open this up, you can see it's a normal SharePoint task list. All policies are developed in the policy development library. This is where we have policies and process of being built or chained. Here you can see that here's the time off policy that I'm working on and it is checked out to me. And we can see that it's actually version 2.0 that I'm working on at this point. Now I can open it up, actually go in and make changes, save those changes and check them back in here. And then once I'm ready, they can go up for approval. Once it's approved, then we move that policy to the published policies library. Now I'm working on time off policy 2.0, but there's already a 1.0 version up here. So these are the policies that actually employees will be able to view and take a look at from the employee portal. We'll take a look at that in just a minute. But let's see how we actually set up a policy to be distributed and acknowledged and go into the policy management configuration here. And when you have a new item, for instance, that 
time off policy, I can set the rules for this policy. So for instance, I can say, who should it go to? All employees. I can give acknowledgement specific instructions. I can give the acknowledgement description. This is what will show when the employee is actually going in at acknowledging policy. You can put an effective date, a due date, and on the due date, this will actually give reminders to employees before that due date uh, that their notification or their acknowledgement is due. And you can also have a default person that it's assigned to to follow up on this as well. Within this, you can actually also build the email. And this is an email that will go out to all employees automatically. And you can build the subject and the body uh, of the acknowledgement email. If you have employees that are non-SP users, you can actually go in. For those employees, it will be sent to their managers to make sure that they acknowledge in some way, either in written form or some other way. And then also you can set up reminders and how many reminders should go out, how many days before, and what the content of that email. And you can also send overdue reminders for those that have passed their due date. So it gives you a way to set up the entire process for acknowledgement and customize the content of both the emails and the acknowledgement description. You can also set up policy groups, and this allows you to send policies not to just all employees, but to certain groups of employees uh, that need the policies. So once you kick off a policy distribution and acknowledgement workflow, the employees will all get emails that ask them to review the policy and accept the policy. Let's take a look at what those look like. Here, we see an email that was sent out for the employee handbook. It requires me to review and acknowledge this. To get to that, I can just click here to get to the acknowledgement. Let's take a look at that. It takes me to the policy acknowledgement screen. Here, I can read a description of what I'm acknowledging. I can actually open up the employee handbook and take a look at it from here. And then I go in and can change my acknowledgement. I open the handbook, read it, understand all the policies, And once I'm happy with what I saw, I will go in and acknowledge it and save. I could have also gone into the HR employee portal and seen what open acknowledgements I have as well. So this is the employee interface with the system. Very easy, proactive, and in fact, won't let them forget about it either. Let's go take a look at a reminder email. As set up, the system can also generate reminder emails for overdue and before due date reminders. Back in as the HR staff person, also I can go and manage acknowledgements. So I can take a look at any of the policies that have been put out and find out those who have not acknowledged, who's acknowledged, even by department and any different view for policy management reporting. So hopefully this gives you at least an idea of what the HR template does for policy management. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video of the application module. You can learn more about this application and others in SP Business Suite at spmarketplace.com.